even further, broken even further. And it's like you say, some people say, I've got a, a London cabbie, Dean Frost, who said it feels like the media is telling me to look over here. Something else is going on and people have become suspicious. You, you know, you mentioned conspiracy theories, but if we're vulnerable, if we're weak, that's when you can bring in censorship, isn't it? That's when you can bring in surveillance, contact tracing, take our data, give away the data of where we're going. You need apps to get into supermarkets. You need to have health passports to travel. It's what is the just to finish on a positive note? What is the um, what is the way out of this? And then we'll finish the interview. What do you think we can do moving forward now? Uh, there need there needs to be a new um, way of thinking politically. You know, very vaguely politically. I don't mean politicians. I mean politically. At the moment, we have this purely artificial and completely wrong divide between left and right. And we're taught that it's a line. There's far left and far right. You know, so you have communism on one end and you have fascism on the other. And everybody is somehow on this line, you know, and it, the best you can be is a centrist, which is neither one thing or another. You know? um, and I think we need to think about it differently. You know, there, there is no line. It's actually a circle. So if you imagine it was a clock face, actually communism and fascism are both at 12 o'clock. They're both exactly the same thing almost exactly the same thing. They both involve a totalitarian government. Um, and what we need to be doing is thinking more about what's on the other side, what's at six o'clock of that clock, you know? Um, what's on the other side of that? And not having this awful artificial divide between left and right, because that is divisive. And you have completely the wrong argument, you know? I think it's about values and principles aligning as well. That's what I see. I see people on the left and right, but both, they both care about children. They want to both hold the power to account. They want a robust media and a government that has compassion and is held to account. So you're right, I, um, I agree with you, something new, something, something beautiful and powerful and um, full of vision and light for the best of us all could come from this, couldn't it? Something really inspirational could rise in, in a form of new type of politics and a new type of media, which I promote.